Hello there and welcome to Meal Kit Reviews. Right, um, got the 511 push pack here for you today. Right, um, I've started to use this really as a an EDC bag, right? I mean, like everybody, right, we'd end up with too, too much junk and not enough pockets, right, and bits and pieces that are too heavy to carry in our pockets. Right, um, this is quite a, a, an ideal size EDC bag for me, right? Um, I'll have a run through the bits and pieces I've got in it, right? There's nothing too much, but it really does carry it all very, very well. Right, um, it's made out of a 1,050 denier nylon, called Jura nylon, which makes it very, very hard wearing. Got a lot of 511 bags, right? Um, a lot of them are made out of the same material. Um, a lot of them get used and really abused, right? Um, and unfortunately, um, for 511 they don't wear out right so you're not going to get much of a resale value out of any of this stuff because you you, you make it to last and last it does so um from that perspective i've over the years of using 511 equipment i order with with complete confidence right i know for a fact that when it comes out of the box right um it's going to do the job it's going to last right and and there you go right um I'll give a quick run through on the outside, right, we've got these uh, carabiners, whatever, these are extra, right, they don't come with it, right, but I put them on there for a reason, right, we've got um, a Velcro name tape on here, which is very, very handy, we've got a flag patch up there, right, the patch doesn't come with it, right, um, but there's a piece of uh, Velcro there to attach a badge to, we've got a pocket in the, the lid, Absolutely ideal for car keys. You put your mobile phone in there. It's not lined. It's just nylon lined in there, but it doesn't need to be. Right, really, really handy that is. Um, excuse me. A minute. In the the lid of the cover to the main compartment, we have another pocket. I keep my sunglasses in there. Right. Um, it's not lined. It's just the the back of the cool jewelry in there. But then, having said that. It doesn't need to be. Right, I've heard people say that they'd really like to see it lined so they can keep their sunglasses in. Well, keep your sunglasses in the little pouch that comes with them. In they go. Safe as houses, right? It's, it's very, very handy to have that there. I, I like that idea a lot. <coughs> um, what else have we got? Let's carry on around on the outside. Right, on the back here, right, we have the aerofoam padding. Now, this really does work extremely well. Right, um, it keeps the bag nice and stable, right? Um, I don't like bags that slop around all over the place, right? They drive me around the twist. But this idea, this configuration, it works well. You're not going to get sore point patches, right, where it's, it, it's resting on you. It's quite heavy with what I've got in it. You'll see what's in there in a minute. But at the end of the day, right, you can carry this all day long, right? And it doesn't affect you. You've got a, a Velcro belt loop there, so if you're going to get all energetic and do some running, you can fasten it to your belt just to help stabilise it even more than what it already is. Right, um, drain holes on the bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, just in case you live in the sunny UK like I do, right, you need drain holes, it rains a lot, but I've not had anything get wet in this bag, don't get me wrong, I was just being a bit facetious about the drain holes, but they are there. Some people don't like them, you can always tape them up from the inside if you don't want them any dust ingression into the bag, right, it's really that's a, an end user choice. You've got some four uh, loops on the bottom here, great if you just want to attach a, a raincoat or something underneath with a couple of straps, right, it's already there and done for you. Right, um, the shoulder strap, superb, right, it really is good, you've got a got a loop on here where you could clip a, a flashlight or a pen right, or a knife whatever the case may be right very well padded shoulder strap this rubbery material that 511 put on their straps and backs of the packs is brilliant you don't have this sliding down off your shoulder that really irritates me a lot when you've got to keep pulling that shoulder strap back up don't get it at all with these work very very well right um very adjustable strap, right? I mean, it adjusts an awful lot. If you need to dump the bag quickly, right, and you've got it hooked up, right, you've got quick release Duraflex buckles on, on the end of the strap there with this. I like it and I don't like it, this, this um, nylon cover. It's really great 
once it's in place and you've got everything there right it just stops it getting snagged the buckle getting snagged up right and uh, the strap coming undone accidentally right so it's it's good from that point of view. it does do its job well right um staying on the outside we've got one each side right um it's a big water bottle holder right i mean you can see how big that is you, you can get a big water bottle in there you've got one each end right i've got a just some tissues and some wet wipes in this end with a few little a bag of plasters and what have you but it's really great right that does me a, that size right in the hot weather right is big enough for a, a litre Nalgene bottle in there right don't have any problems at all with that you've also got I don't know how well you'll see this another little slip no you haven't right it's a, it's a nylon flap so, so you've got the nylon closure at the top right double zipper Right, together with this pull handle in the middle, that's brilliant. Now, the reason that I've got this, this is a, a grim lock on here. Unfortunately, you get an awful lot of problems with people pickpocketing and what have you. What I tend to do is once I've got the the the, um, the zips done up, is just to hook the. I don't know where you can see that. Just one of the, the pull calls through that. Just stops people if you stand if you're on a busy train, bus, stand in a queue, stops people just sliding the zip down and having a little fumble in your bag and see what they can find. Right, um it's me just being a bit paranoid, I suppose. Same on this side, right? Um got the same clip for the same reason. I'm covering this in this review because people will ask what I'll put that on there. Wear a baseball cap a lot, right? Don't wear them indoors, it's gonna be somewhere. Just to hook the strap on that just gives me somewhere to put it without screwing it up and putting it in my pocket. <coughs> You've got a zipped compartment which is right at the back of the bag here. Right now, in there, my Blackberry tablet fits perfectly, right, and it's, it's just like it's made to measure. This is backup belt compatible in here with the loop side nylon, and the idea of it is, is you can keep a handgun in there, right, um, on the backup belt system holster, if you so desire, right, and it's there, ready for use, right, it zips up, and to be honest with you, once you've got it zipped up and you're carrying the bag, you can't really see that that pocket's there, right, um, it's nicely hidden behind this top pouch. Right, uh, but I use that predominantly for my tablet. It keeps it nice and safe. It's in a separate compartment all of its own. And away we go, and I'm as happy as Larry. Let's undo this flap here, right, this, and just see what we've got inside here. Right, for a start off at the front, we've got a pocket. There's a couple of packs of batteries in there. I'll go through batteries like crazy. Then you've got another pocket just inside here. Right, just a notebook in there. Right, there's nothing else in there, but it's, it's full width. Full width of the front of the bag, that pocket, and within an inch of the top, it's full depth as well. So it's, it's nice and big, right? Um, spare pair of reading glasses, right? Uh, camera, right? Carry a camera a lot, right? Um, there's a book there, right? Um, little wallet, right? Um, just a hanky in case it gets really hot. Couple of spokes of the sport case, right? A um, couple of pens. You've got um, three pen slots here. Another little pocket in the back here for business cards. Right, that's perfect size for business cards in there. Right, um, and you've got another um, pocket at the back here, which is a, a, a mesh pocket. Right. All in all, right, it really is an either. It depends on how much you carry with you. That is the be all and end all, right? Um, obviously, Duraflex buckle on the front again, right? And the ever faithful elastic cover for the buckle. <clears throat> obviously, it depends on what you carry, what you use it for. This is absolutely ideal. If you need to carry a camera, a sidearm, spare ammo, that sort of thing, absolutely perfect, right? Really, really does work well for that purpose. Um, but then, having said that, swings and roundabouts again, it's down to you. Right, you're the person in charge. Right, we've got another little pocket here, right, just down the bottom of the strap. 
apart. I mean, you could get your car keys in there quite possibly. I've got too many keys on my bunch to be able to even think of putting it out. I've got to shed some keys. Right, on this side, right at the bottom of the strap again, I've right, got another pocket there which is the same size as this side. Plus we've got two rows of two loop and then two and three quarter loop molly webbing on there so you could get a small pouch on there or whatever. Right, um, plenty of room for scope and adjustment and so forth. Right, not a lot more I can say about this, right, um, I think I've just about covered it all. If you've got any questions, please fire away. If I can't find the answer myself, I'll probably find someone that can. Um, if you're new to Mill Kit Reviews, please subscribe. Right, I've got a lot more reviews coming out in the near future. Right, um, if you subscribe, you get the email updates when the new videos are produced and, and published. Right, um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. Right, 511's push pack. Right, it's been about for quite a while in the 511 range. Don't know why I didn't find it sooner. Right, but I'm glad I have now. Right, thanks. Bye bye.